Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, um, Lifestyle with Ruth. If you are new here, hi, I'm Ruth. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial just on my eyebrows. I get questions on my eyebrows all the time. And this is what my eyebrows will look like at the end of the video. The products that I use to achieve my eyebrows are going to be my e.l.f. pomade. You can get this at Walmart. Now to outline my brows, sometimes I will do this, sometimes I will not do this. I use my L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist Definer. The little tip is so fine. It's it's so easy to draw the outline of my eyebrows. So, I mean, if you're a beginner with eyebrows, this is a great tool to use because it's very precise to draw the line of, you know, the outline of your brow. So that way you can fill it in with pomade. The eyebrow brush um, that I use is by e.l.f. as well. And it's the e.l.f. Small Angled Brush. This brush is my favorite brush to use. Um, my favorite brush to use. So all I'll do is I'll take it, dip it into my pomade, kind of just run it down. So I don't like dip it and like jab it or anything to get like a bunch of product. No, I just take it and I kind of just rub it down softly rubbing it down softly not pushing the brush in there just very softly taking it and like kind of just stroking it in there to get some product onto my brow brush and to clean up my eyebrows all i do is i take my fit me um concealer here you can really take any concealer you want to use and all i do is i take some on my hand put some on my hand and I will take my Wet n Wild little brush here. It's a very, um, as you can see, it's a very good brush to clean up the brows with. I really like this brush. It's very easy to work with. So this is what I use to just clean up my brows applying that concealer. And then I use my e.l.f. Total Face sponge. Um, you can also get this at Walmart. It's so squishy, so soft, and so easy to blend out. And then when my brows are completely done, I like to use my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara just to apply on top of my brows, just applying it on top. And this really helps to keep your eyebrows like still and stay put. And that dark, um, if you want dark brows, that darkness, it just keeps it all there. So, and we're gonna be starting off with our brow stylist definer, um, little pencil here, just to outline our brows. I have a mirror here. Don't look at my mess, but I have a mirror here. And I'm going to just be looking into it and doing my eyebrows. So let's get started. All right, and don't mind this. <laughs> I have some lash glue left over and I keep like having to scrape it off because I guess I didn't get it all off with my cleanser. So all I do is I take my little definer here and I'm going to just start to outline my brows. Um, so you can start here or you can start here. Uh, sometimes I'll start either way. Um, so let me go ahead and start here, and all I'm gonna do is go directly under my eyebrows, going off of my natural shape. And if I feel like my natural shape goes off a little bit, and I want to, you know, get a different shape, all I do is I just go as you can see, my natural shape kind of cut off here and went up. So all I did was I just kept going. I just kept going straight because I want to get my straight eyebrows. 
Just going underneath. And you can darken up that little outline just by going on top of it again. Like so. Okay, so that's all we did was outline just the bottom of our brows. Now we're gonna go on top and outline the top of them. So again, I'm gonna go with my natural eyebrow starting here and just going right on top. Like so. As you can see, I did the little, the top line. Now, when I get to like this peak area here, I like to just, you know, go down. Okay, so once my brows are outlined, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Um, pomade and just start applying my pomade. Taking my e.l.f. angled brush, dipping into that pomade, like I said in the beginning of the video, just taking it and slowly stroking it into the pomade. You don't have to like, you know, jab it in there. Even when you're stroking it, it may not seem like you're getting too much product but you are just just you know be patient because i've done that before thinking i didn't get any product or not much product and i'll like you know jab it in a little bit more and streak it down a little bit more and then i'll come out and i have way too much product on my brush so just take it and stroke it just a little bit and it'll be fine so let's go ahead and start to fill in we're just going to be filling in our eyebrows where we outlined them, just like a coloring book. So this is super easy. Don't freak out, you can do this. Even if you mess up, we're still going to clean up our eyebrows. So it'll clean up that mess up. Well, if you mess up a lot, I mean, you may make a mess, but for the most part, we should be able to fix it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Taking my brush here and starting at the end. You can start at the end or at the beginning. Doesn't matter. I start at the end sometimes and sometimes I'll start at the beginning. So just taking my brush and just filling in my eyebrows. If you start at the end, you will get that lighter effect in the beginning um, because you're taking most of your product on your brush and starting at the end. So that's, that's why it's gonna be darker at the ends then at the beginning of your brow. And as you can see, it's getting lighter and lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush and dip it into my pomade again because I want that darkness to stay until the beginning of my eyebrow. Okay, so I got more product on my brush. Now I'm just going to continue where I left off. Just continuing to fill in my eyebrow. Now, when I get to this point, I like to start flicking it up like this and going with where my eyebrows, my eyebrow hairs are going, like the direction of my eyebrow hairs. And when I get up here, I like to just continue to flick up. And as I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm pushing down Flicking up, pushing down, flicking up, you know. 
And as I get to this point, I like to just go with a light hand. Like so. And going a little bit over my line just to complete my eyebrow. I like to go a little bit over with just what's left on my brush from my pomade. And then there's our eyebrow. Super easy. Now I'm going to take the spoolie um, you can take any kind of like little spoolie with no product on it and just start to run your spoolie into your eyebrow, just dispersing that um, product all throughout your eyebrow. You can start here at the beginning and kind of just go lightly in the front, just kind of to fade that front area so that you're not having like a box in the front. It's gonna be a faded eyebrow in the front. Like so. And then just taking the spoolie throughout my eyebrow. like so. Okay, so here are our eyebrows and don't mind if it looks funny in the front, we're still going to clean them up and that's gonna pull everything together. So now we're gonna go in with our concealer, um, taking it on the back of our hand here, like so. Taking our wet and wild little brush here, tapping it into the product and starting in the beginning of our brows we're just going to outline the bottom of the brow okay so just taking it slow I can't really talk when I'm doing this because I'm so focused. So <laughs> you're just gonna do what I'm doing here. Just taking it and outlining the bottom. Um, I did this here because I like to see how higher up I need to go. So I'll just take some of this product here and start to go a little bit higher. And there we go. And just taking it the flat way now and going underneath it just to mm, kind of like blend out the bottom. The, the, so that you're not having that glop of concealer around the bottom. So just taking that around the bottom. If you mess up a little bit, it's fine. What you're gonna wanna do is go back with your pomade and kinda just fix what you removed, what you weren't supposed to remove from your eyebrow. So it's a very easy fix, don't freak out. And so that is the bottom of our cleanup. You can take the concealer, the excess concealer, just a little bit further out. 
like so. And now we're gonna start with the top. Taking more of your concealer on the back of your hand if you need it. If you still have some product left, then that's great. Use what you have and taking it and dipping it into that product. Don't go directly into like the globs of concealer. Go a little bit into it and then kind of just tap it in the like the rest of your hand because you don't want to go in with a glob because then you're going to have a glob of concealer that you it may be difficult to blend out uh, once you've like applied it right underneath your brow without messing up your brows if that makes sense i'm so sorry if i don't make sense i'm really really trying here <laughs> so just taking that dabbing it in and dabbing it over here and i'm just going to start in the beginning again And I'm gonna just take a little bit more product to finish up the top. And my tail, what I like to do is I like to go in the bottom and angle it. And then on the top, and angle it. So I meet the concealer together at the end and I can kind of put my tail where I need it to be. And there is our eyebrow cleanup. Next, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and just blending out the edges of my concealer. So just taking my sponge, kind of dabbing and pulling down. Dabbing, pulling down, dabbing, pulling down, and then dabbing and kind of just going this way here. All right, and there we have our finished eyebrow. Okay, so now our brows are fully done here. Now we're gonna go on and finish up with our NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And just go on top of our brows just to set them. So you're going to wanna take it out and if there's any product left at the tip here, you're just going to take that off and Start at the beginning, flicking it up. And basically just brushing your brow hairs with the product. like so. If you happen to get any of the brow gel on, like 
on your skin around your eyebrow, that is completely fine. All you're gonna do is go back with your concealer brush and just go over the spot that you got on there. And easy as that. So here is the brow with the brow gel. Here's the brow that does not have brow gel yet. I don't know if you can tell a difference. I can. This one looks darker and, you know, just nicer. I don't know. I know that both, both brows are nice, but I feel like brow gel really pulls the eyebrows together. So again, here's the one with the brow gel. Here's one without. So that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and just put brow gel on this other eyebrow over here and we will be done with our eyebrows. Okay, now our eyebrows are officially complete. So here is the finished eyebrow look. Dark eyebrows. If you don't like dark eyebrows, this video is not for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, if you watch till the end, thank you so much for watching um, and seeing how I do my eyebrows. And I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you learned something in this eyebrow tutorial. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.